Friday 30th of July is International Friendship Day and I wanted to send a message of friendship, love and kindness to all of you from WMHI. Hi, I'm Peter Diaz, the CEO of the WMHI and together with my team, we want to wish you all a happy International Friendship Day. We feel that this year, more than ever, we need an International Friendship Day. We need to be reminded not just of who our friends are, but also how to be a friend. We have seen an unfortunate trend in the last 18 months of friendships, even those formed over many years being damaged, weakened or lost completely because friends haven't been able to overcome differences of opinions. I am sure you have seen this too. We think that's sad and we think that's a waste. It is true that in these challenging times, we're grappling with important questions that directly relate to our core personal values. And these conversations should be had with those we love. But today on International Friendship Day, we also ask you to also bear in mind the value of friendship. We need to be able to have these conversations with love, respect and dignity for each other. To do this, let's remember what a friend is. What is a friend? A friend is someone that loves who you are. In Spanish, the word for friend is amigo. We all know that word from cowboy movies, don't we? And it means he or she that loves my ego. Ego, the word gets a bit of a bad rap sometimes, but basically it is the person who loves me for who I am. That's special, isn't it? So a friend is someone that has made the decision to love us. And that's the beauty of friendship. A friend is someone that has your back unconditionally or close to it. It is someone that loves you because they've made the decision to love you, warts and all, as they say. And what is a good friend? A real friend, a good friend is willing to take a risk for you. A good friend lets you know when you have something on your face that you can't see. A good friend tells you when they think you are out of line. A good friend shares their thoughts with you, even if you may not like what they have to say, or even if you don't agree, because they know that friendship is stronger than any difference of opinion. They would let you know that you're in danger. Of course, they would allow you the freedom to make your own decisions, but they would let you know nevertheless. And if you are a good friend back, then you would love that annoying person even more because you appreciate the love they have for you and the risk that they're taking. You understand that they have your back and that may not always be pleasant. Right now, stress levels around the world are at, are at an all-time high and conflict is at every turn, regardless of where you stand on one issue or the other. We hope you agree that we must come together and remember why we became friends in the first place. Maybe we can use this reminder and this International Friendship Day to reconnect with our old friends. Whatever you choose to do and how you choose to do it, please be a friend. Remember to be kind, compassionate and considerate in all you do. The world needs your friendship today more than ever. Happy International Friendship Day.